frankly, I don't know whose idea it was, maybe Josie's to talk about the Valley of the Shadow. Uh, I've not talked about it in a little while, but that's excellent because I'm getting ready to live in it the next few months again. Uh, so the basic idea is, uh, move me over here, that it's every piece of information about every person who lived in a Northern community and a Southern community throughout the era from John Brown's raid all the way through reconstruction. Because I'm a little frustrated by the way that we do Civil War history, which we break it into pieces and we sort of defend, I'm a military historian, I'm a social historian, I'm a political historian, I'm a historian of the African-American experience, I'm a historian of women's experience, I'm a historian of the South, I'm a historian of the North. I just don't think you can do it that way. And the whole idea was, what if we understood, I don't know about you all, but I live every kind of history every day. You know, so I'm in, I live in economics, I live in politics, I live in my own family history all the time. And so the idea was, what if we wrapped our understanding around the entire experience of all the people who lived in the South and all the people who lived in the North? They're only 200 miles apart, but that straight line across the bottom of Franklin County, across the bottom of Virginia, of Pennsylvania, of course, is the boundary between slavery and freedom. And so this gets us past a lot of the easy explanations for the Civil War that was industrial versus agrarian, which is not, um, that it was the frozen North against the humid South, which is not. These are the same soil, same climate, same ethnicity, same religion, same churches, same trading partners. This is Washington, D.C. Uh, and yet they decided within six months that they would go to war and kill each other for four years. And Augusta County, like most of Virginia, wasn't really all that enthusiastic about that secession thing. But once they did secede, they gave themselves over totally. The Stonewall Brigade has its anchor here in Augusta County. And Franklin County, filled with Democrats and, and who were skeptical about Abraham Lincoln, but they vote for the same proportion of Abraham Lincoln as the rest of the North in 1860, and then again in 1864. And they also uh, supply enormous numbers of men. They also have, as we'll hear in a minute, uh, one of the largest free black populations in the North. And they also have, uh, they were the only place that was burned to the ground by the rebels. So uh, you got that going on as well. So that's what I've been working on. And I, I the, the, the thing is enormous. It took us forever to build it back at UVA. I'm very grateful to UVA for sustaining it now that I've been gone. We started this in 1993 when the web was six months old. Uh, we, I already had the idea of sharing the entire historic archive with as broad an audience as possible. So all of you are investing yourselves enough to go to places to see what the landscape is like, what the feel and the air is, you know, exactly where these units were. And as you know, there's no substitute for that. My belief is there's also no substitute from seeing where history actually comes from. It doesn't come from books. It comes from all the raw materials of newspapers and letters and diaries and censuses and uh, military records and tax records and church records and all those things. And so my idea was, wouldn't it be great if we let people see history for themselves rather than getting it second or third hand? And so that was the idea behind the Valley of the Shadow. And it really was completely weird in the early 90s. And, but, and now, as I'll show you, we're continuing to build on, on the, the idea of sharing the historic archive as broadly as possible. And 